You're not just a UFC champion, you're one of the best champions. It's very it's very unique to watch you fight because you're you're one of those people like Anderson Silva in his prime where you've kind of cleaned out your division. You know, and there's no disrespect to your opponents, but some of your opponents when I'm watching you fight them, I'm not thinking are they going to beat you? I'm thinking what are you going to do to them? That's it's a strange position to be in where you're almost like competing you're competing against these women but your level is so much higher than everyone else in this 125 pound division that there's just not much there for you in terms of like Valentina has to fight this woman there, there's no fight like that for you but going up against Talia Santos, Talia's a great fighter. She's on a good streak. She deserves this title fight. And part of the problem is for Shevchenko is much like some of the other champions, kind of like a Kamara Usman, she's lapping the entire division. She needs fresh meat, and that's exactly what Talia Santos is. But hey, she's earned this. I mean, look at these wins. Joanne Wood, Roxanne Modafferi, Julian Robertson, and Molly McCann. Now, there is a loss on there as well to Mara Romero Barella. Uh, but listen, listen, she's a good striker. She's got good jiu-jitsu. Tapped out Joanna Calderwood, went to a decision with Roxanne Manaferi. Roxanne is tricky. Don't underestimate, underestimate Roxanne Manaferi. So it's gonna be an interesting fight. This Valentina 125 is just a fucking monster. Yeah. She's yeah. a monster. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's so good. It's such a huge gap too. Yeah. Like it's such a huge gap between like, I don't know, a number one contender and champ. Doesn't like, even make sense. It's crazy. Like, that yeah. fight, I did my best to pump up Caitlin Chukagian and to make it seem like it's going to be a good fight. But all I could think of is like, how is this girl going to beat her? Yeah. How are you going to beat her? Well, I she thought does she, everything perfect. Yeah, I thought like numbers, like if if you're going just like a uh, volume, mm -hmm. you know, I thought that Caitlin could like, you know, close the gap a bit. I didn't think so. This is why because Caitlin, she uses points, she scores well, but she very rarely knocks people out. Mm -hmm. Like she knocked down uh, Liz Carmouche with a head kick. Right. But Liz survived and wound up winning the decision. Right, right. But you, like Valentina makes you pay. Mm -hmm. She makes you pay. Mm -hmm. So like all those like th shots that she would throw, the volume, it's different because there's, you th put the shots out there and then pop! And it mm -hmm. comes back at you mm -hmm. just like, whoa, those yeah. those kicks come back at you and you're like, fuck. Yeah. That elbow comes back at you and you're like, whoa. So now you're like, now everything's more at a distance. Mm -hmm. And you, you lose your ability to engage. You get nervous because every time you engage, she's looking to take your yeah, fucking she, head off. Yeah, yeah, she answers. Especially after that Jessica I fight. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That was crazy. I think that's the one that made me a fan. Because they should have stopped that fight way, that, way, way They shouldn't have made that fight. That. Like, that, I was right. just like, come right. on, guys. Right. Like, they shouldn't have made that just, fight. That's just mean. But, like, after that, I was just like, man, y'all are giving her all these props for destroying this poor girl. And, like, she shouldn't have been in there against anyone. But then after the Jessica I fight, I was like, yo, she's got something. Like, she's, that lady's scary. She is a dominant. Yeah, she's going to be a dominant champ. We're talking as if this is a difficult fight, and she's winning three out of the four rounds, right? Yeah. It speaks to her dominance. And I just believe exactly what you're saying. And, you know, people sit at home and they they want to judge but the reality is we're watching these fights and we're trying to call them as we're seeing them because we're watching them just like you're watching and watching a champion like valentina who's since going to 125 has never shown any weakness especially on the ground she when was the last time we saw valentina shevchenko held down like that for four minutes we've never at 125 going into that fight the cumulative time that she's been on her back on the ground you know how much it was at 125 two seconds Two seconds. See, so you see her get control for four minutes. You're like, yeah. oh my goodness, what's happening? Yeah. And, and well, what happens is, if Jennifer Maya is to be successful, oh, now there's a path for Jennifer Maya to win this fight. And I have to tell you about that path. The reality is, you saw very clearly it wasn't happening again. After the third round, you go, okay, now things are starting to kind of go, go back to normal. And Valentina is just so dominant, man. And she's beating people up so bad. The first gal she fought at 125, it was awful. Watch it. She just completely just tortured. Yeah. So Joanna and Jacek, it was a closer fight, but it wasn't all that close, right? She won four. She went three or four out of the five so, rounds. So, so the, the Joanna fight is the only round at 125 that she lost. She lost one, one round. Yeah, she won four out of five rounds, yeah. right? Then, then from then on, it was just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Jessica I kicking the head. Caitlin Chukagian 
uh, crucifix finish. So it was like you start to see it as it's normal for her to just dominate.